Greetings and salutations to you all once again. It is me, the Raven Inspector, and as you can see, I'm actually doing a video on my phone. And the reason for that is I think I might actually start doing this now whenever I get like a good handful of pickups, just so I can avoid having to have really long videos of pickup videos and whatnot. I don't know, I just feel like it would help better for me to have to do that because it seems like I would be able to get more content on my channel and be able to kind of separate what type of pickups I, I take and all of that. I came to um, a mall today to a store that I usually come to and ended up picking up a few games because um, I wanted to get out, wanted to see what was out there and came across some that I was uh, didn't know that I was looking for and came across some that I was looking for, I guess you could say. So, and it's not a big, it's not a, a big stack either. I've only got... Uh, Let's see, five, yeah, five games here. So, no real, no real uh, big deal there. And got them at uh, decent prices as far as I'm concerned. Um, except for one of them, I thought it could have been a little bit cheaper, but eh, I really didn't mind it. Um, so, anyways, we'll go ahead and start with the first one here, and that is Legends of WrestleMania. I haven't really heard too much about this, although I am a wrestling fan. It was like three bucks. So, I was like, you know what? What the hell? I'll go ahead and try it out. Heard uh, from what the reviews I saw on it, they actually said that it was pretty good. Some liked it, some didn't. So, you know, for three dollars, you can't you can't pass that up for sure. Next one I got here is obviously the greatest hits version, but I don't care greatest hits or not as long as I get the game. That's all I care about, and that is Tekken Four. I've actually gotten a little bit more into the Tekken series now because I ended up getting the first and second one, I believe it was on PS One. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and start probably collecting the Tekken series if they're if they're Tekkens that I'm into. If I read up on them and whatnot, see what the review scores are and things like that, I'm trying to get back a little bit more into fighting games again because I'm kind of rekindling that passion for fighting games I used to have back back in the day when I was a kid. Kid. But yeah, I mean, if I can find them at a decent price, then I'll go ahead and jump on it for sure. The next one that I have here is uh, Lost Odyssey for the 360. And it's kind of funny because I ended up going and uh, uh, I think I, I, I actually used to have this game probably once or twice in the past. Long story with that, my first Xbox 360 Red Ring got rid of it. Then I got a Slim and I really wasn't feeling the 360 anymore, so I went ahead and sold it. And had have have this game for it twice now. So I said, you know what, I'm sticking with it from now on. There's no doubt about it because now that I have a 360 and now that I know that the Xbox One doesn't know the meaning of exclusives, or actually I should say Microsoft, I'm just going to go ahead and collect exclusives for the Xbox 360 because there is some great games on there. So I went ahead and picked this up. The only thing I hate about it is knowing that it's four discs long, you have to go and actually, you know, they're all sitting on top of one another. I don't like that. I like their own individual little slots that they can go into. And so, yeah. But uh, definitely looking forward to, to firing that one back up again. So many other games came out after I got Lost Odyssey, and it's such a big J uh, JRPG, I just didn't really get back around to, to getting back into to playing it again. And I was just like, oh, it's so overwhelming. My first Xbox died. My second one, I'm just like, eh. You know, I just really didn't care at the time. But now things are changing for me when it deals with that. The next one that I got here, I got it for 3 bucks. Oh, yeah, by the way, Lost Odyssey was like 16 something I could see it being that price because usually it's kind of around that price. Tekken four was like three bucks, so three or four dollars, something like no, maybe it was either three, four, or five bucks. I don't know. But anyways, next one here I got is uh, Soul Calibur two. I played the piss out of this back, like when I was in uh, my early years of college with friends of mine. Played it so much, really loved it. Got this for like three dollars. Wanted to go ahead and say, you know what? I want to get like I said before. I'm kind of rekindling some things with me with fighting games again. So I went ahead and picked it up. Glad that I got it. Got it at a really good price. And yeah, definitely, definitely glad that I picked it up. It's kind of funny. I thought <laughs> I thought about in the past if I ever got an original Xbox, I was gonna get I was gonna get Soul Calibur 2 on there and Soul Calibur 2 on the GameCube because then they had like exclusive characters. But I'm like. That's just stupid. It'll waste of money. It's just like today. I got Soul Calibur 4, as a matter of fact, for the uh, for um, the PS3. And, um, no, I mean, I got Soul Calibur, what was it? 4, 5, 4, I think it was. I got it for the 360, and I saw that it was on the PS3 today, and it was like for 6 or $7 or something like that. I said, you know what? I said, maybe I'll just go ahead and get it. You know, it's the same game, but Darth Vader is in it. And I said, no, that's a waste of money. I said, I'm just paying for a character and getting the exact same game pretty much. So I said, the hell with it. The next one I got here is a game that I've really been aching to play once again and glad that I actually have it. And that is the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, the Game of the Year edition. I used to have this. I don't know what it was with me because I really did love this game. I played it a lot back on 360 and, and some on PS3. And I don't know what happened for me. I don't know. I guess I just got so overwhelmed and had other games coming out. And I sold, I traded them in and sold them to get other money for other games and whatnot. 
But I actually have this on PC and I got it really cheap. But guess what? The moment I start up the game, I can't even move my character. No matter what I do to go through all of the setup and everything and controls and things like that, nothing's happening. So, you know what? Hell with it. The damn thing should work out of the fucking box. And, or out of Steam or what the hell ever. And it wasn't doing it. I shouldn't have to troubleshoot to control a fucking game. I shouldn't have to do that. I shouldn't have to go and try to find this or that and spend 30 minutes to an hour to find a... Fuck that shit. I'm sorry. I had to vent there for a bit. So, console master race confirmed. God damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because I know when I plug that in, the damn thing's going to work right off the bat. I just... Ugh. You know, I mean, I like playing on PC. I like being able to use it for multiplayer. But when you get these older games or whatnot, you know, you have to troubleshoot around that shit. I can't, I can't stand that. I want to put the damn thing in, and I want to play it. Plain and simple. No arguments there. Um, so, anyways, glad that I got that. Glad that I really like the game, you know. But, damn, dude. <laughs> Sorry. I just had a rant come out when it, dealt, when it dealt with that. Because when I got it, it was like for a few dollars. And I got ready to start it up. And the damn thing was, I said, fuck this. I said, the hell with this. I'm just using PC gaming for multiplayer only now. And that is it. Getting all these older games and trying to troubleshoot this shit. I'm sick of it. I I'm sick of it. I'm fed up with it now. When I start the damn game, the damn game should start like it should and control like it should. Otherwise, don't sell the damn game. That's how I see it. It's fucking stupid. Anyways, <laughs> it is. It's stupid. Um, but anyways, I wanted to go ahead and do a little bit of a taste test here for a new Mountain Dew that came out. It's uh, called Dew SA. And it is code red, white out, and voltage all mixed together. I think it's going to have an interesting beginning taste, middle taste, and aftertaste maybe. My glasses look like they're kind of crooked. I'll have to fix that afterwards or whatever, what the hell ever. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go to do a live taste test here to see exactly what it's like. One of my friends got it and tasted it and, and tried it out. And he's like, yeah, yeah. He said, I can only taste like the, I think he said he can only taste the code around the white out, but couldn't really taste the voltage. So we'll see. <coughs> burp before well, I ate earlier. So that's why I burped. I just seen an interesting dark color here. Voltage. White out. Kind of a bit of code red. So yeah, I can kind of taste all three. Tastes like sugar water. <laughs> what else can you say with that? Oh, Jesus. It's like these slushies I used to get from Slushy Puppy when I was a, a younger kid. Where you can make your own slushies. And I, was, I would be in the place with my dad. It was like a gas station that sold them. I said... Hey, Dad, I want to get all the flavors. He said, oh, you want to get the swamp water flavor. That's, a, <laughs> that's why I'm saying that this is sugar water instead of swamp water because it looked like it was whenever you put all the colors there in there on the ice. It's all right, but yeah, I can taste all three flavors in there. Interesting. Maybe just a little sweeter than I would have expected. Then again, it is Mountain Dew. So I wanted to go ahead and try it out. But anyways, yeah, that is my little pickups video that I wanted to do here because I wanted to try to, you know, lower the amount that I would be spending in certain videos and all that stuff. So, you know, no harm done. Might as well just go ahead and if I get a good handful, pop on the old camera phone here or phone camera or what the heck ever and make a video. So anyways, I will end this like I always do. Later, taters.